What is going on guys? It is your boy Tropical NHL back here today for a brand new YouTube video. So today we're here to talk about the Montreal Canadiens and uh, I've seen a lot of things on Twitter today and my friends were talking about this and it's about Yevgeny Dodonov. Uh, this morning he wasn't at training. Um, apparently it was treatment day for Mike, Ho uh, Mike Hoffman. Yevgeny Dodonov, I'm too used of hating on Mike Hoffman. I'm saying his name without wanting to say his name. That's crazy. Anyways, it was treatment day apparently for Evgeny Dodonov. But like the media, the fans were going on crazy today on Twitter because he wasn't in training. And he was talking with Kent Hughes the other day. Uh, we saw him publicly having a conversation with Kent Hughes. And yeah, he wasn't in training. Um, but the Canadians announced an hour after training that it was treatment day. Uh, Renault Lavoie reported it as well. And a lot of media asked Martin Saint Louis about this. Um, they were talking like blah 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 um, about ah oh, is Don enough gonna get traded? Is that why is Don enough not here? And he got like twelve questions about Don enough in like five minutes, and he got pissed off. Kind of looked like John Tortorella out there. Um, and he said, "No, nah, it's just it's just treatment day. Give me a break with that." Blah blah blah. But yeah, um, is something gonna happen with the Yevgeny Dodonov or not? Uh, I'll give you guys my opinion on this. Um, I don't think that Dodonov's gonna get traded. Uh, will he end up being sent on waivers? That's possible. You never know. But I don't think that he will get traded by the Canadians, and the reason for that is. Can't you said it multiple times this summer that he's not a type of GM that trades players for nothing just to get rid of cap space? And we saw it with Jeff P3. Uh, he waited a long time. Jeff P3 asked for a trade. He said it publicly. Uh, he said, yeah, we're going to try and trade Jeff P3. He asked for it. He's not happy here. But I am not going to make a trade that disadvantaged the Canadians. So, yeah, I'll try to make a deal happen. But if... There's nothing that's going to work in favor of the Canadians. We're not going to trade him. And I think that even if Dodonov would have asked for a trade, that would put him in the same situation that Jeff Petrie was last year. Uh, can't choose. We'll try to trade him. But if there's nothing that works for the Canadians, it, he's not going to do it. And he said it and he's done it with Jeff Petrie. And he said it multiple times this summer as well. He's not the type of player to make a trade. If the trade doesn't advantage the Canadians or if it doesn't work for the Canadians' perspective. So, will Dodonov get traded? Possibly, possibly. But I don't think it will happen right now. Because right now, there's no team in the NHL that will be ready to give up more than a fourth-round pick for a guy like Yevgeny Dodonov, the way he's been playing so far this season. Um, so, yeah, that's my opinion on this. Uh, will Kent Hughes accept a fourth round pick? Like I said, he's not going to make a trade that doesn't advantage the Canadians from his perspective. So I don't think that he would be down to trade Dodonov for a fourth round pick, even though it gives him caps flexibility. Uh, so yeah, will Dodonov get traded? Possibly not right now, in my opinion. The only thing that would work... Uh, for a Dodden of trade is maybe with the Washington Capitals. TJ Oshie is injured long term. Uh, they need a forward if they want to win the Stanley Cup with um, the same forward group, the same veteran group. Uh, I know the, the, the management has said that this is the objective. Nick those backstroms injured. Now Hoshi's injured. Would they be interested to add a forward like Evgeny Dodonov? And Evgeny Dodonov is a Russian, and we know there's a lot of Russian players. Um, in Washington, so I can kind of see the Capitals getting an interest for Yevgeny Dodonov, but what would they be ready to give out for a guy like Dodonov? I'm not sure. That's the only fit I could see. If the Capitals are ready to overpay a little bit for Dodonov, I think that Kent Hughes would make the move, but if there's no uh, deals that uh, are good for the Canadians, Kent Hughes is not going to move. And that's the way he is, and that's the way he's going to be, and that's the way he's been um, the entire time uh, since he got hired as the GM of the Montreal Canadiens. So, yeah, I just think that Dodonov was having treatment. I just think that this conversation that he was having with Kent Hughes was probably just a conversation you have with your boss. Doesn't mean 
when you're talking to your boss at your job, it doesn't mean that you want to quit your job. And it's the same thing for hockey players. Maybe they were just talking about casual stuff. We don't know. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys all think about this in the comments below. What my, that was my opinion of the on the Yevgeny Dodonov situation. It's been your boy Tropical NHL. I'll see y'all later for another video. Bye-bye.